Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more GT New Horizons here. So I did a little organizing, it's not a lot of organizing, it was just more I put a bunch of dust in one spot so I could find them a bit more. Um, got a bunch of carbon in this one. Uh, I had the other material, I forget what it was, like ash or something, I converted it to converter in the... Uh, in this guy, electrolyzer. Look at all the oxygen there, which is awesome. Oh, look at this. Let's see, there's a bunch of dust. I've just been grabbing them from chests and then uh, basically going over here and be like, okay, done. <laughs> that way it's just organized a little easier. Like if I need to find some dust, I can, you know, if I'm searching for it or whatever, uh, it's a little easier to see it there. Plus I can go through it and say, okay, what's this dust worth if I electrolyze it? Things like that. And I might find something interesting. So I got a lot of projects going here, but uh, we're going to leave that alone. So put a chest here. Ooh, yeah, we're going to do the battery stuff today. So let's go to MV. And we're going to go over to integrated circuits here. So we're going to do basically everything you see there. We're going to grab circuit boards. Uh, integrated these guys. We're going to grab resistors. Okay, so maybe we have too many now. Um, how many do you need? 32, and that's for 16. So two stacks should be more than enough for what we need here. Uh, so this is one-to-one, -one, it looks like. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how many I want to do, actually. I wouldn't mind getting lots of circuits made here, so I have a bunch at once. You know how I like to do that. So this is for one stack, right? Or is that 16 still? Oh, that's for 16. Damn, this is expensive. So that's for one stack at least. I'll do like whatever and then I'll come back. Tin bolts. I'm a little confused by this. I think this is supposed to be... I think you're supposed to smelt these down or something. I think that's why it's like that. I think they're just throwing me off there. So, Oh no, they are actually tin bolts there. Okay. We'll go with that. So um, I think I just removed this from the list. Uh, welcome back. There you go. So we're just going to go ahead and they don't make this easy on you, do they? We got you, then we got you, we got you, you, and you, I guess. And yet we seem to be missing something from that list. There we are. Oh, we're missing the diodes. Okay. Those are so expensive, by the way. There you go. So that will make us some circuits. These are the LV circuits, by the way. There we go. Perfect. So I'll let that run for a bit. Um, I also have this full of molten lead. I mean, using molten lead, it is double, but because I have so much molten lead, I thought that was easier than using something else. Um, maybe later on, you know, tin would be better, but I just leave ore on tin, where I have tons of molten lead. By the way, I have tons of silver, and I have iron there. I The other day, I think I thought maybe it was a little low on uh, silver, but I was being an idiot, so. Uh, kind of a big idiot, actually, there, because I completely forgot about that, so. Okay, so that solves that. Yay, so I'll just go for this. Okay, so the next one is the good circuit one here. So this is where we're going for the next uh, part two here. Um, so I guess we should put that on our bar. I wish it would show the, like, I wish it would show what we're doing here. This one, I think it is, okay. So, um, I guess first of all, it uses your circuit V4, which sucks, but it's just how it is. Um, it uses the different uh, board here. I guess it's going to use a few different things here. So, it uses... Wait, I thought I made more of those. What the... Oh, you know what? I think I needed gold, and I just never got around to doing it. Oh, my. What did I spend all my gold on? I actually need the one I spent it on. Go. Oh, I did need it for that, but I never made more of the circuit boards. So I guess if I'm making, you know what, I'm gonna make more if I can. Um, but I guess we're gonna have a limit because I just only have so much stuff here. 
Okay, so I should probably start, you know, the, the, the stuff here anyway. So you got 32. We're going to fill that up, obviously. Um, so you're going to still be able to use these, which are great. And then you're going to need your diodes. This is where things get costly is these diodes. Um, I'm sorry, but they are very expensive. I don't know. We're going to try to make this too today. I don't know if that requires diodes because we like use them all. Apparently not. So you might actually be lucky there. Um, and then this is gold instead. We get gold, not the, the wrong one here. And then you're going to use silver instead of tin this time. There you go. And I'll start those ones. And then upstairs, I got the iron chloride 3. Uh, or they call it what? Iron 3 chloride? Yeah. Chloride working on uh, another 32 plus. I didn't realize how long it took to foil these guys. They just, it was a very slow process. Nine seconds per plate. So, But that's all good. We'll uh, keep filling this up and keep going here. The most expensive part of all this is the damn diodes. And I'm be doing this one here. So I got more tantium uh, going in there. But it still sucks. There is one recipe that makes this okay-ish. And it's using this but the bigger version of it. Yeah, this one here, fine platinum wire. I think we can actually make it, but I noticed it's locked in HV and I haven't even tried it. But from what I could tell, I think we could do it, but you get nuggets for it. It's really dumb, um, but uh, it's something I should play around with eventually, but uh, it is what it is. Do we have another one almost done? Oh, I'm not waiting that long right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna, so we're gonna get 32. I thought I was gonna get 64 of the MV ones, but no, you're gonna get 32 because of it uses a lot of the, the stuff so the diodes it is what it is um so we got these guys here we can put in here wash those and then i'll just put those into the fine wire and uh three and then i'll just make a couple more diodes just enough to get the 32 exactly here and then we'll come back okay look at that good in there Graded circuits, awesome. I don't know if these, any of these, I don't think they have achievements tied to them. Um, okay, so that's good. So where are we? We're over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the loot bag for that one. And then the next one and the last one, uh, which is our next circuit, this is BHV, by the way. Um, so fine electrum. So we got lots of that. Oh, well, yeah, it's fine electrum. Um, Copper, annealed copper. Oh, it's funny because I think I made. I might have made them or I might have almost made them. No, I must have not made them, but I made the the uh, annealed stuff, though, for it. So I must have not got around to it. So unless I'm blind, let's double check one more time here. Oh, no, they're in there. <laughs> cool. I was ready. Always feels good when you're like, oh, wait, never mind. You know, it was good. So you got the two, you got this one, but also the random memory access, also the transistors. I like to make more of those transistors, actually. I might do that here in a minute just to get them, you know, done as much as I can. And then there you go. Fine Electrum 1. Yeah, so I won't be able to do all those because obviously we will run out of the transistors, but I would like to work on more of those again. Which that was easy. That was the silicone, the psi ones or whatever from upstairs. Uh, we turn them. Oops, we turn them. Is that the right one? Solar grade. Yeah. Okay. And we had to vacuum freeze them. Well, I guess we had to put them in the chemical bath. Ugh, I hate that. But yeah, I want to do this again. And you just throw them in, huh? Okay. So I might do that again just so I can get that going. There you go. And we'll let these run for a bit and come back. Just a side project here. Uh, goodbye, Mixer. Goodbye, Mixer, my friend. Make sure this is all advanced. Advanced cabling. Okay, so Mixer is going over on this side now. Distillery is going to go here. And we're going to make distilled water. This is going to be set to a number five. Perfect. And this is going to go to the right over here. 
And now this is awesome because we did this all wrong. Really, really badly wrong. Uh, so we were using one lap is 125 water for 125 coolant. We can use 1,000 distilled water uh, for 1,000 coolant and just use one lap as dust. Huge, huge, huge uh, savings, basically. Um, which is not a big deal. You know, you live, you learn, or whatever, you know, they say. But um, this will, in the end, obviously save us a bit, which is great. And then you can take this guy. Is this a high voltage one? Yes, it is. And so we can also just tell him to go over here when he's ready. Pluto auto, auto output. And then let's go and look for... I know I have some of these on the loose somewhere around here. Or they might not be... Oh, you know what? I think they're not cleaned up. I think that's kind of the problem. I'm pretty sure I have some around here. They just probably like... Are they purified? Or no, they're probably impure. No, I thought I had a whole bunch of them. I mean, I, lapis is easy. I can get tons of it. I just wanted the ones I thought I had. I guess if you look here, you can also go for these guys here. There you go. But I just, I thought I had some other ones. Anyways, I'm going to put lapis in there. We've already done that. Oh, the other one was Lazarus. I, I I had the wrong one. Some oh no, that was Lapis. I don't know why we picked up the wrong ones at one point and why we couldn't scan the other ones. Because this is the one we've had here. Look at it. Lapis Lazuri. Oh, Lapis Dust. Oh, I get it. There's a different version. Oh, that's the IC2 version of it. Ah, oh, okay. That's why. Let's get ourselves a hopper for this setup. But anyways, this will be a good way to make coolant a lot easier in bulk, you know, four times uh, more efficient, obviously. So that's that's good. It takes a little while, but I don't like need it this second kind of thing anyways. And there you go. So that'll make it over. Now you have to have this as a four. Shoot. Whatever I just did isn't going to make what we need yet. Yeah, here we go. So we can't have it that way. So does this have cover back electric pump? Damn it. Okay, so we got to go and get our plumber. So for people who forget about this, we've only used it one other time. Actually, I don't even know if I was even on camera. Um, this guy, the plunger. When you make a mistake in your system, you, you plunge your way to fixing it. So what we can do here is plunge this. And now IC2 coolant will go in there only. Yeah, there's I die. And I've made a ton of that die accidentally one time already. So please kill me for that one. Um... But anyways, yeah, so there you go. There's our coolant. We can leave that be, um, which is awesome. I made some of these guys again, so I wanted to make more of these. Obviously, we talked about that, so I can work on that. Um, how did I put these together anyways? Oh, okay, fine tin wire. Ah, oh, that was the fine tin wire. Okay, so a bit of an effort later on. Uh, we have uh, our trips here, so... I think that's a good start getting 32 advanced ones. Um, you know, I would like more of the MV ones, which we basically completely vanquish, but uh, that'll be an off camera thing anyways. And I can work on that a bit over time. So um, I thought there would be a, a thing for this. There you go. And there we have it. So that's awesome. And I feel like if you get an advanced circuit, you should get like an HV, you know. But uh, that's a big deal because then we can do some stuff with that over time. So let's go ahead and get rid of you and let's see what we have here. One, two, three. Oh, you got a silky touch here. Oh, you got a fun weapon here. Auto smoke. Life seal. Don't know if I'd use that, but it's it'd definitely be a fun weapon, I'm sure. Oh, look at this. We got a bee analyzer. Wait, I feel like I... Oh, no, I never did make the bee analyzer. I was going to eventually, but I never got around to it. We can, you know, in was MV, we finally were able to do that, probably. Now we have it early on. Cool. We'll have to play around with that eventually here. Just put it in our container here of lost bee artifacts. Oh, and my bees are going well. I'm just... Uh, I ran some... We got Imperial going here, Industrious. And is there anything running in here? I think I was just recently banging. Is this the recently banging? Which one did I recently start banging? Uh, none of them, I guess. Yeah, I should probably do that eventually. I 
advanced. Okay, so I meant to do something with the silky jewel, huh? Do, 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 do. Did we have one of these already? Yeah, I thought we did. You might get one 100% from a quest or something. I'm not 100% sure, though. <laughs> okay, so looking through this, um, I'm guessing one of the things we're supposed to... Like, we've done a lot of good unlocks in here. I think we're supposed to work on the next stuff. We did molten plastic, but we've never done poly vinyl chloride. Uh, so yeah, this is this one up here. So you got ethylene vinyl chloride and then poly vinyl chloride, which then I think unlocks this here. So uh, polyethylene sheet, but I'm pretty sure this is, I thought this was a different one. Maybe not. Oh, I see. So poly vinyl. Or po oh, okay. So it's cheaper. It's better to use the polyvinyl, I guess. Which I don't think there's a reason not to have that. Um, ethylene, chlorine, and then polyvinyl right there. And then, of course, the sheets above. Okay, so I might want to look into that, come up with a an attack plan on that one. Oopsies, I made a mistake on this one. Not a big deal, but um, we converted this, but I forgot I'm using light fuel here. So I use the light fuel to create the severely steam crack light fuel to make the ethylene. And uh, yeah, so basically what we need to do is replace this and go back and get... Uh, another pipe put in here directly for the light fuel, but that's not a big deal. It happens. So there we go. She's back up and running. Perfect. Great. Yeah. So I just derped up on that. Not a big deal. Like I said, I just put a new line in here. Um, you have to remember some of these are confusing, but you can see what's in them anyways. They probably should replace them with a the steel, but hasn't been a big deal. So good. Anyways, that's our ethylene. I was just making sure, you know, I said to myself, I swear we have ethylene being created somewhere, which we do, obviously. So that's a good start. So I'm going to hide. This is the first time I've done this, but I'm going to hide my diesel generator behind the wall. Uh, so first of all, nothing's plugged in here yet, so you know boom booms, but you want to make sure that goes this way, this goes this way. So I'm doing the advanced to low voltage uh, because I, well, at least I think I am. I didn't actually look into this, but I want to make the vinyl, this is LV, right? Yeah, this is all LV, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I decided to do it down here because I'm going to remake part of the setup up above with the salts and stuff like that. I just thought I'd enjoy it more here because it's just, you know, there's this part here. But I give it its own power source because when this is up and running, I think this one might have issues anyways. But I'm going to run a, a, a piping up here, obviously. Uh, but no, this should be a good spot, I think. Uh, so this is fuel right here. So this is how easy it is to get fuel when you, you know, use the same lines for everything, basically, anyway, so... Um, actually, I don't want to go. Let's do this ahead of time. And then let's cap that. And I'll just go like this right away. Yeah. There you go. And then we can join them. And this is the part where I can't see crap all. I guess it's right there. There you go. I almost need like a flashlight mod almost like, uh, you know, you press a key and it, I guess they don't do that. And, you know, it's not even something Minecraft has really support for, like, because it's like more of like very dynamic lighting, I guess. But where you can actually like move around and it has like a brightness filter or something like that that can let you see. I think that'd be really cool just because when you're working in stuff like this, sometimes you just need that quick burst of you know gamma or something there you know like we have dynamic lights from optifine but it's not really the same i mean like that's that's the highest it gets you know you sometimes you need that extra brightness that that extra oversaturation to just kind of help you see maybe i'm getting old you know <laughs> okay so let's see what we can come up with here we're gonna do let's put this guy down first okay so we're gonna have salt going the one guy here. 
Um, I've done this before, obviously, with Electrolyzer, so I want to do something like that again, which I guess is just a default Electrolyzer. And then you can put whatever you want into it. So we got lots of different stuff. That's a bit different. I don't know if I can do sodium dust in there, or no, I think sodium dust is what it comes out with, no? Yeah. It's like, damn it, sodium dust is what we have way too much of. Um, just pure salt, I think, is what we are looking for. So I have some upstairs. And we can make lots, you know, through rock salt and things like that. So um, let's see here. Uh, this one right here. This is for the chlorine, right? There you go. So this will make chlorine over time. So you're going to have to either put a hopper, say, here or manually feed it. doesn't matter. I guess I don't mind putting a hopper, say, on the side here. I look a little funny, but I don't think it's a, a bad idea, actually. Might help us out a bit. We'll see. And then you're going to have to have an output chest as well. Um, or you could put it out there. Uh, it only puts out sodium, technically. Oh, yeah. You know what? I was, like, looking at what I could put there. If I put a chest there, you can't open it, right? Unless you put, like, a half block or glass or something like that. But you know what I can do? I could just put a storage drawer there. This is even better, I think. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, I haven't decided if I want to have the item output or uh, what. Uh, basically, I could do that. And then... Yeah, that should work. Okay. So that's your um, chlorine anyways. And the next one to make this all fun is you need a chlorine cell and ethylene. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Um, since the chlorine is a fluid, uh, obviously you're going to want to change it around for that, I guess. So let's go Let's go like this for now. And let's, let's go with the, uh, the one here. So... Let's see, this is chlorine. We want that one there. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna make this hydrochloric acid. There you go, perfect, okay. That's actually, I think that should work. Um, so that's in a chemical reactor here. Okay, and then you can have your fluid auto output. Perfect. And then you're gonna have this as a, a one, and then you're gonna have to, this is the, the slightly challenging part, you're going to have to get ethylene from there to over here. I was thinking what I could do is bring a storage tank over here and do it through that method. So um, so this produces ethylene, right? So as long as there's nothing here, which looks like there's nothing there, I could go like this and run it across over here in the floor all the way over here and then just bring it up, basically. So I thought that could be a... A good idea. Still haven't changed that. I know. I know. I've been so lazy and slow on it. Let's just get away up here. We're going to clean this up after. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be the way to do it. So, we'll bring it, like, right to it. This is a low voltage one. I think I have an ultra low voltage. I don't even know where that is right now. They're just all low voltage. That's fine. That works. So let's do that, and then uh, let's bring it, like, right here so it's in the wall. I think that'll work. Cool, okay. And then we'll run a pipe system here. Okay. Yeah, and then you can just run the pipes like this. And then probably one more so it's hidden in the floor part. Yeah, that should work. And then we have to get behind under this here. It's ethylene, yeah, okay. Or is that one too many? That's one too many, I guess. Okay. There we go. Make those two kiss. Come on, there you go. And then I'm gonna have to put a pump on that one. I'm just gonna go here and get a hole put up here so we can get out. 
And I have no pumps on me. Okay, so... How do I do this? I guess just like... This, I guess, right? Well, it should automatically work, or... Do I have to do something? I think I have to do something. Oh, that was a conveyor. Wait, what? No, that's not a conveyor. Oh, there, there is a conveyor. Oh, because it's not actually on the machine thing. I prefer it to be on the machine, so... What we're gonna do here is take this off and put this directly on and then i'll have to take that off after and then there you go there we have it perfect let's bring it over here now i could have brought this over i mean i still can actually um do you want it there or does it really matter i kind of want it here because it just i don't know it makes me feel better in my head so i guess this is it here Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Ah, okay. So, um, now we have to do it through the cell method, obviously, here. So, we're going to have the cells in here. They're going to come out and go here. So, we can now start using these guys again. Our famous guys here. And so, yeah, this is pretty simple. You're going to have an in and out, basically, right? So, um, yeah, so we'll have the insert. We'll set it to pink. We'll have the export. Set it to pink. And, yeah, and then we'll have extract from here. So... Of it is lime green for fun. Insert lime green. And as far as I know, that should be as simple as that. So that should work as a loop now. Because so you can't pull out, right? So as long as that works. Yeah, except I thought this was the right recipe. Obviously, I did something wrong. Chlorine, ethylene. Oh. Nope, something's wrong. Damn it. Okay, I gotta figure out what I did wrong, because there's an ethylene cell. There's a chlorine here, obviously. Oh, I bet you yeah, I know what it is. I don't even want to look now. I bet you it's MV machine. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Wait, what? Oh, also, that's not going to be a problem. I didn't realize that, so maybe we won't do the extract yet. Ethylene chlorine. <laughs> There's no power. It's like I'm starting to, you know, go a little crazy here. I'm like, it should work. You know, it's like, I can only be so stupid for so, so, so long, you know, and it's just like, it can't be me after that point. There you go. So I noticed an issue, obviously, here, which we'll have to fix. Because um, I was just going to spit it out. We're going to come up with another cell here. And we're going to have to do something with it. That's the hydrochloric acid. So I don't know what I can do with hydrochloric acid at this time. I can turn it into hydrogen and chlorine again. Interesting. How much chlorine are we using for this too oh i see so you can turn it into at least one chlorine and then one hydrogen i see but you can't you know yeah it's a lot of chlorine that you probably don't want to use right and this makes chlorine it's not terrible I just, uh, I'm going to have to come up with a plan here because you do need a lot of chlorine and you're going to want to have a recycle plan, I guess. So um, I think that comes out after, I would say. So I would just dump the hydrochloric acid for now and then work with that. I need more storage. Let me look for some. Okay, I got myself a super tank to be able to do some super cool stuff now. So 
Uh, ethylene is probably not like able to keep up at this moment. I'm sure of it. Yeah, okay. Because so I had to make the super tanks and went through the polyethylene here, and so it'll take a while to catch up, obviously. Um, so we're just going to take this guy back here, and he'll just literally sit back here. Yeah, you're going to have to hear that a bit, because I know those machines are all able to keep up quite, so... But anyway, so we got uh, the super tank back here. So what we'll do is we'll put another connection over here, I guess. And we'll have to do a filtered one, I guess, for this. Um, unfortunately. I mean, unless you can keep enough empty cells in there, I guess. Did I only put 32? Oh, I see. I put 32 in there. I see. So even then it might try to fill up. If you put 32 in there, yeah, I might do something like this. Okay, so it'll have, because uh, we're going to do that cheat thing we did before, so um, we'll do an insert over here. But uh, lime green, I guess that's lime green, right? Insert, yeah. You have higher priority, you have lower priority, basically. And then extract, you're going to extract on, I guess, lime green again. I hope that's not going to cause a conflict. Okay. And you're going to... Okay. So this should work, I'm hoping. Okay. So extract on. So you should go over here automatically. It might have derped up. Oh, did it like loop itself? Oh, if you do too much, it might loop, but... I'm thinking as long as it has enough to go through, it should be fine. Um, there is a lock mode, but I don't think it stops other things from going in there. It probably just doesn't spew in there, I'm guessing. But I guess you can always try, right? Like if you go and put this in here. Yeah, that's doesn't really stop that. I mean, it's empty cells, right? So... I'm, I'm hoping that this method, anyways, makes it work correctly, so. But like I said, we'll have to wait till this all catches up at this point anyway, so. And it'll start working for us here. Okay, so we do have, uh, the good news is we do have the final chloride. This is all automated now. So, the next thing we're going to do with the vinyl chloride is turn it into molten, blah, blah, blah. I thought we'd be done there. Obviously, you're not. So, you have to give it oxygen. Yep, oxygen is your next task uh, for that. So um, I guess you can do the chemical reactor here and get in. Well, I guess this is where you get to decide. Um, it comes in that method. So you should probably do the oxygen the other method. So sorry, uh, so molten one. So we should do it like this one. Sorry, there you go. Yeah, so this is the one that you want to do it with. And then bring in the oxygen as a cell, which that makes sense. So, and that's a chemical reactor, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so another chemical reactor here. Just to make sure that it is LV as well still. Yeah, okay. So we'll put the chemical reactor here. See, I did this again, and this is what I did last time. It's not a big deal. I caught it myself this time, but usually I shift-click on the back of it and... Um, I haven't been doing that correctly. So this one is going to be a, a one. It's up there, right? And then you're going to output your fluids over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're just making sure. So you're going to output your fluids over here. Perfect. And now we get to do the oxygenator. Oxygen, man. I swear, oxygen is the one that we always fight with the most in this uh, this pack so far. So we could steal, if you really, really, really wanted to. You could steal oxygen from over here, but as you can see, this electrolyzer barely keeps up with itself. So I say we just do what we normally do and do a new one over here. Um, so I say just do it here, possibly. Yeah, I have this solidifier over here, so this might be fun to do it this way. So, once again, you're just going to do water in here. Um, the good news is the water is pretty damn close, because, well, there you go. 
I'm not sure, though, if we're going to get... We'll have to find out here, but uh, throughput. I'm guessing the throughput... Oh, the throughput's good now. It's actually low. It's actually... We're going to be fine, because it's like... Pretty sure it's like 1,000 or 100 seconds or something like that. These recipes are pretty slow, but this is why you automate it, because then you don't have to worry about it, and you have it when you need it, the, the, the amount you need, right? So... Uh, what electrolyzer are we on? We're on number one, so we're just going to switch you to number one. Did I, oh, I need cells, I guess. But yeah, that should work. And then we're using our one. I have a piece of dirt here. It's literally my my hopper. Uh, my hopper dirt. And then basically we should be able to dump these guys in here. And the, the good news is if this, you know, buffers and blah, blah, blah. Just another part of the oxygen sources we can grab, you know, from time to time. Though I should probably automate this as well over time, you know. It's a decent amount of oxygen, but uh, we got what we got right now. Okay, so that's working well. Okay, so um, then we're going to have this. I guess we'll have this hop here. Now, if we're going to put this on top, we might as well just do it through this and screw the other part now. This creates... Does this create... If this creates hydrogen, don't forget about that. That's the downside. So what we can do here is get a pipe set up between the two. And then, uh, yeah, I guess you do fluid output. I'm just going to confirm, make sure, you know, I am thinking right. Okay, as we assumed, I definitely did that. So we'll do fluid output here, and that'll get rid of that. And then we got our oxygen cells, so we'll go ahead and we'll put these two together. And, I mean, you can have it all linked, obviously, but if you don't need it, unhook it. Because, you know, less, more channels, less less headaches, I guess, things like that, right? So, um, let's do red for fun. So, let's do insert red. And you're going to extract out at red. There you go. So there we have it. And then you're going to extract out at black. You're going to insert at black. And around and round she goes. Oh, yeah, we have to turn off the redstone. That or that version. It doesn't matter which I think. But there you go. And there we go. Molten polyvinyl chloride mabopper. I love it. Okay, so... Now we just have to hook up the fluid part of it. Wee, wee. Eh. Sorry, I'm an idiot today, apparently getting out of the hole. <laughs> no, ladies, just this one, not not the other kind. Uh, anyways, uh, so now that we have this, we have the fluid solidifier. So we're going to do all the solidification all over again. Uh, that was one of the, the quests in here somewhere here I saw. Where are you? A pain in my ass. There you go. Yeah, so it wants uh, the 60 blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to have this in the back. So uh, we're just going to hide you here. Um, as far as I know, I don't need any of you. So let's just get rid of that. And we're going to do for the first time the piping here, actually. So this is going to be kind of cool, actually. So we're going to use this. So this is the cool part. If you've never used Ender IO, the pipes do stack and stuff. So we're going to extract the fluids, and then uh, there should be a tab for the fluid. Yeah, so you got extraction here. Um, so that is for the fluid, right? Kind of throws me off a bit there, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And then you're going to insert. I'm a little confused because I didn't change the color, but that might be just a bug. Oh, no. Is that a problem? Oh, I guess I can put it up top. But I wonder if that's a problem because yeah, that might be a problem because it might not. Well, it actually, yeah, probably doesn't face anything. Plus, I just realized I don't need anything in there or here. There you go. I'll just do it this way. And then there you go. That actually worked. Okay. Oh, they've only worked because the temporary stuff. Okay. 
So you're not going to extract, but you're going to insert. I guess it, you don't get to choose. Uh, I guess maybe it's joined in the filtering. I don't know. I'm actually kind of confused about the filtering. So you got to extract. There you go. You got no insert. You got insert. I think it's not connected correctly. Huh. So signal red. Unless if it's bugged. Oh, getting out of the interface is a bad idea. You just have to do that. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure because I've never... Let me figure this out. I wonder if it's just because there's nothing left in here. Oh, that's all it is. Okay, it just throws you off because it shows you the crap in the pipe. Maybe it's a gravity thing or whatever, because it's not a pressure pipe or whatever, maybe. I don't know. Oh, flow respects gravity dependent on flu. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think we're fine then. We can just leave it as that. Um, it was throwing me off, but I think that was probably the thing. So you might be able to still get off with... I, I don't know if you can do it this way. I kind of want to see if I can get away with this. So you might be able to do it this way, but obviously you have to wait till, uh, there you go. Oops. There you go. So I guess you could do, how do I get it back down there once you have screwed it up? I don't know if you can. Oh, okay. Here I go. Extract. There you go. And then, yeah, so, and then this will be insert. There you go. So I guess we just have to wait for this to, to go in. And I'm wondering if that would have worked then, and I just derped up because of the thing. So it's a learning thing, because we can face with these, right? So I'm guessing we can on this as well. So um, that's my guess. We have to wait another uh, few seconds here, and then eight seconds on this. And then we'll find out the full story here. There we go. This is where the full story ends up happening here. Three, two, one. Boop, 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 boop. Should be working now. I think it should have been working. Yeah. So this might have been my fault. Extract to black. Oh, insert to black. There you go. No. So it might not like the front facing. Oh crap, this is, I keep messing up with everything else. Uh, this is supposed to be insert to red then. Uh, no extraction, only insertion. And do you just change it to black anyways kind of thing and it doesn't matter? Oh, it's on white. I like how I keep messing this up. Yeah, I don't think it likes to go in the front facing, to be fair. I think that's just pretty much all that's happening here, is it just doesn't like to be in the front facing. Which, that's fine. It's kind of funny you could do it with the items, but I guess liquids is a different thing. Orange, maybe, for fun here. Oops. I find it funny that there's no, like, I guess they can't stack, kind of. Well, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it uses it itself, so I guess that's the whole point, yeah. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's not screwing up this. So this is black, goes in there, red goes in there. Okay, I think that's all fine then, again. Okay, so obviously that doesn't work, so we'll just take this again and turn off that, and then we'll go ahead and put this in like this and there we go and that should automatically work again which it does okay so that's perfect it works just fine as is okay 
So that's perfect. And then for the quest, I guess we need parts of this, unfortunately. So this is all running and it's going to get mad at you, obviously, because you need certain parts of this. So um, let's see. You need to get vinyl chloride cells, six of them. So let's go get, get ourselves some cells here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the downside with quests like this. It's like, oh, crap, you know. Um, so vinyl chloride. So let's actually not let you output so I can steal these and put them back. So here's your six. Let's put those back in there. Let's let you flow again. Perfect. And I'm going to go for the circuits. And then we're going to go for the next one here. Where the hell did we go? Here we go. You need 61, which is not actually 61, but you're going to still need a lot of them uh, for the polyethylene, the molten one. So that's going to take a while. Uh, and then we can make the sheets here. So um, I guess I'll do a cut. Why not? I got a lot of other things I can do. I'm going to clean up underneath here, get the, you know, the arrows put in and the floor back in, and then we'll come back in a half an hour probably okay i gave an infusion of oxygen here so it should be ready oh yeah there you go oh oh come on let me do it yay we can get rid of it now and then i think the next task would be to put those in the sheet so what do you want here uh i'll just go for the bag though i really need to make more of those but yeah whatever the bags could be fun because something cool could happen that's pretty cool, actually. That has its usage. Just... Um, okay, so now that that's happened, I guess we want to make those into the plate versions, right? Which is right here, because I think that was the next task, is 61 PVC plates. Yeah. So basically, we just throw them in here, and it does its thing. And then you can, of, of course, use the ingot mold if you need ingot versions and things like that but basically we got the two different uh uh ones done now which is a pretty good deal that's we're gonna need them both and uh this will save me a lot of headaches so uh it wasn't too bad it was a little complicated but in the end it was worth it okay there we go awesome let's see molten blah 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 i'll go for the loot bag again a gambling problem what can i say interesting a lot of b products okay so i guess the last thing in here if you want is uh look at this this is fun stuff oh man i don't want to do that but i wanted to do this but maybe i can't do this yet oh sulfuric acid oh, okay wait i have it's a different kind of sulfuric acid, I think. What are you? Hydro... Oh, okay. You could probably do something with that eventually. But I think we'll leave it there because we've done quite a bit. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated than just, you know, you're done there. So either way, I think that was a very good episode. We got lots done here today, um, which I'm happy. You got to get the advanced circuit. We got to build up this contraption here, which will... Oh, look at it. It's already full again. Um, which will let buffer and, you know, it'll do its thing over time. And yeah, it's working out really well. Our power system is doing good. Um, I'm still debating and probably will eventually upgrade everything to using the fuel itself because uh, we still have half the base using steam. And we do have issues with that um, from time to time. Um, though I do like the actual fuel using steam. Um, but hey, I could always just add more of these. But at the same time, it's just getting naughty, right? I'm thinking about performance and stuff. But either way, uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.